is noon and we are so excited to get to see so many familiar faces out there and hopefully other family and friends that are watching on YouTube as well. But my name is Dr. Liz Combs and I'm the Director of Undergraduate Studies here in the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition. And on behalf of all of us here, we'd like to welcome you to the DHN graduation ceremony. Very quickly, I'm gonna go over some of the logistics. Like I mentioned, we have faculty, staff, and students here live on this Zoom meeting, and then family and friends on DHN's YouTube channel as well. So please do stick around to the end of the ceremony, and we'll be sure to show a review at the end, and we hope that you'll participate in the virtual UK ceremony at 2 p.m. But before that, we're going to start off today with a few words from the chair of our department, Dr. Janet Mullins. Hi, you all. I cannot believe that we have made it to December of 2020. Congratulations on a job well done. When you tell people that you graduated with a degree in December of 2020, that is going to say to them that you are capable of doing hard things, that you are capable of being flexible and operating under difficult circumstances to achieve something really outstanding. So no matter whether you're headed off to your career or you're going on to graduate school or what your plans are, I know that you are well prepared because the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition, the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, and the University of Kentucky have provided you with what you need to go forward and be successful. We want you to stay in touch. We hope that you'll become part of the alumni family. We have a lot of fun together. Um, we have a lot of connections and um, it can be helpful for your career or to help train the next generation. So I hope you'll stay in touch because sometimes we go to basketball games together. Sometimes we do virtual things um, until we can be together. So be sure to join up on the alumni festivities and enjoy being an alumni. Congratulations to everyone. And now on to Dr. Stevenson for the pomp and circumstance. Thank you very much, Dr. Mullins. And welcome to our graduates. Welcome to their family, friends, and everybody who's celebrating with us today. So we thank you all for being here. And we wanted to start by introducing our amazing team of faculty and staff in the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition. We are truly blessed to have faculty and staff in DHN who provide interesting, relevant, high quality coursework, unique experiential learning opportunities, such as those uh, dietetic simulations, undergraduate research experiences, mentoring, and much, much more. So faculty and staff, could you all give us a wave so that friends and family can recognize you all and for all of your efforts. Thank you all. So today we're gonna to start our celebration out recognizing two master's students who have completed the degree requirements for the MS in Nutrition and Food Systems. Congratulations to Kayla Dudick and Jack Moreland. Kayla Dudick earned a BS in Dietetics from the department in December 2018. And we now celebrate her completion of the MS in Nutrition and Food Systems. Kayla's thesis project examined the cardiac effects of obesity during pregnancy using a mouse model. Kayla shared that her favorite memory of being a graduate student at the University of Kentucky was being able to work in Dr. Shoemaker's lab. She learned how to extract mRNA from the heart of mice, pretty impressive, present research posters, and she made incredible friends both within as well as outside of the department. Kayla's thesis chair, Dr. Robin Shoemaker, is here today and will join us with a few words of congratulations. Dr. Shoemaker. Thank you, Dr. Stevenson. Well, it's really my pleasure to be here on behalf of Kayla today. Uh, Kayla came to my lab when she started graduate school because she was really interested in metabolism, which for all of you who have taken the metabolism classes, you know that that's a very ambitious interest. And so I was really I'm excited to take this student who had a lot of enthusiasm uh, for looking at metabolism. 
in disease and trying to relate that back to nutrition. And Kayla really took on a project that was very heavy in science. Uh, and she just, she really displayed a lot of curiosity that is uh, really needed for a basic scientist. She dove right in. She learned a lot of things that were really outside of her comfort zone. Um, she stretched her uh, capacity by attending regional conferences. Uh, some of the stuff that we had planned didn't quite work out due to COVID, but I'm sure all the rest of you can relate to that. Uh, Kayla had, did get an award to present at a very big conference in San Francisco, um, but we'll take it as it comes in 2020. And it is my honor to be here today with Kayla um, to, to celebrate her graduation. Congratulations, Kayla, and thank you for letting me uh, mentor you through this process. Thank you, Dr. Shoemaker. And as we go through this, if we could do some virtual claps or those of you who are on the live Zoom, you're welcome to do the clap on there as well since we don't have the traditional graduation ceremony. Next, we have Jack Moreland. Jack also earned a Bachelor of Science in Dietetics from our department. And we now celebrate his completion of the MS in Nutrition and Food System. Jack's thesis project examined the appetite regulating hormones in energy compensation with exercise. He shared that his favorite memory of being a graduate student at the University of Kentucky was attending the Obesity Society Conference in Las Vegas and presenting an oral presentation of his thesis project. Jack's thesis advisor was Dr. Kyle Flack, who is also here today to say a few words um, of congratulation for Jack. Welcome, Dr. Flack. Yes, thank you, Dr. Stevenson. And uh, yes, so similar to um, similar to Kayla, Jack was very interested in the, the meta metabolism and uh, the, the science behind nutrition and, and uh, what it does in our bodies. And he came to me his junior year uh, looking for research opportunities, looking to be challenged. And I think that's, uh, that's what he was really after. And, and that's what he got with his uh, master's degree. And he's going to be uh, after that last two years, I think is uh, grown a lot and um, is fully ready to take on the next step and becoming the RD and he's going to be applying for dietetic internships this spring and uh, I think he's uh, going to be uh, uh, well positioned for, for success in that. Thank you, Dr. Flack. And again, congratulations to both Kayla and Jack who have been friends of the department now for several years. We're so proud of you and we look forward to your next accomplishments. We know you'll do really well. On behalf of Dr. Don Brewer, who's our Director of Graduate Studies and couldn't join us today, congratulations to our graduate students. And again, we look forward to seeing what the future holds for you. All right, so we will now get to celebrate our 16 students earning bachelor's degree in dietetics. And each of these students have completed the didactic program and dietetics requirements to make them eligible to apply for dietetic internships to become registered dietitians. Joining me in sharing some about the 16 students are gonna be Dr. Stevenson and also Professor Yolanda Jackson, a lecturer in the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition. She's also the advisor to the Student Dietetic and Nutrition Association. So the first student that we get to honor today is Haley Jo Adams for completing the degree requirements for the BS in dietetics. Haley shared that she pursued dietetics to further the study relationship of diet and disease. And in Dr. Julie Pacencia's class, Research and Writing in Dietetics, it allowed me to do just that. I've enjoyed most diving into the research side of dietetics and meeting kind, intelligent people along the way. Dr. Courtney Luking has been an incredible mentor to me as well and has provided me with many opportunities. I'll always remember my time at UK and I look forward to future collaborations with some of the finest experts in the field. Faculty and DHN shared the following words about Haley. Haley shows excellent initiative and works incredibly well with others. I loved how she was always punctual and flexible, being able to adapt to changing schedules. She's a professional that works hard at improving herself day in and day out. Haley's curious, adventurous, quick to learn and empathetic. Her willingness to explore new topics and work ethic for building and mastering new skills allowed her to graciously navigate all the fun and sometimes random projects that we had to offer. These attributes will no doubt land her a fulfilling career, and it's been a joy to watch Haley Blossom even amidst a pandemic, and I'm thrilled that she'll be able to continue on as a research assistant after graduation. So congratulations, Haley. Next up is Lindley Barker. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Lindley is also part of the University Scholar Program, starting our master's program in nutrition and food systems next month. Lindley shared, 
One of my favorite memories has been over the quarantine. While these semesters have been hard, everyone has really worked together to help each other out. There's always another student or professor willing to help or answer questions. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Lindley. Lindley is a self-starter and very determined. She always came to class prepared, on time, and enthusiastic. She has great critical thinking and problem-solving skills, and more important, has a compassionate heart. Lindley is poised for success. Her work ethic is amazing, and I am proud of her. Her great critical thinking skills is going to take her far. I am really looking forward to having Lindley in our graduate program and helping me with my research. Congratulations, Lindley Barker. Next, we celebrate Joe Chisholm for completing the degree requirements for the BS in dietetics. Joe shared that his favorite memory while at UK was tailgating before the football games with friends and family. I'm sure something he is ready to get back to as soon as we are through these COVID times. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Joe. Joe always has a great attitude and shows enthusiasm for learning. He takes advantage of opportunities to learn and grow. And because of his positive attitude, I'm certain he will do well in life. Congratulations on securing an internship. Yes. You're going to, do, you're going to be an awesome dietitian. Best of luck on your future endeavors. And Joe has an engaging personality that will serve him well in his future career. He has a real desire to understand how nutrition and lifestyle contribute to quality of health and a desire to help others. Joe has a bright future ahead of him. Congratulations, Joe Chisholm. Next is Brittany Cox. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Brittany has also completed the undergraduate certificate in food systems and hunger studies and is also part of the University Scholars Program starting our master's program in nutrition and food systems next month. Brittany shared, my favorite memories were volunteering with Campus Kitchen at the University of Kentucky, Farm to Fork, and at God's Pantry Food Bank. I'm glad UK students can make an impact with food security at the local level and working to improve the nutritional status of all Kentuckians. Faculty and DHN shared the following words about Brittany. Brittany was a joy to have in class. Her contribution to class discussions demonstrated the ability to apply newly learned concepts to real life, a really important skill. Brittany's excitement and creativity were contagious. I literally smiled while listening to her podcast interview with one of the creators of the DASH diet. Brittany was so great to have in class. There was never an awkward moment of silence because she was always willing to speak up and contribute to class discussions. I've thoroughly enjoyed our advising appointments and reminiscing about Georgia. Brittany's ability to connect with people and her sense of humor will continue to be a gift to those that she meets and looking forward to her continuing in our graduate program. Congrats, Brittany. Congratulations to Dolph Davis. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Dolph is also a part of the university scholars program starting our master's program in nutrition and food systems next month. Dolph shared, my favorite memory is probably the first fancy trip I took. I had just re-enrolled and ended up meeting and socializing with many folks technically a year or two ahead of me. It was fantastic to make those acquaintances and bond socially with other students in the program. I still know and speak to many and hope to continue talking shop about food, restaurants, and the nerdy side of dietetics with them. Faculty in DHN had the following words about Dolph. Dolph is an incredible, inquisitive, and an insatiable curiosity, and a deep desire to learn content in the field of nutrition. He is a very, very critical thinker and applies that in all of the courses he takes. I enjoyed having him in class. I've really enjoyed having Dolph as a student and as an advisee. We've had some great conversations and I'm looking forward to having more. He is always thinking beyond the face value of information. His creative thinking is going to serve him well and will serve him well in the field of dietetics. Congratulations, Dolph Davis. Next, we celebrate Caitlin Denninger for completing the degree requirements for the BS in dietetics. Katie shared, my favorite memory from the University of Kentucky would be the experience I gained from the in-person patient simulations. I am beyond grateful for this experience and will help mold me into a successful dietetic intern in the future. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Katie. Whether virtual or in person, Katie just makes me smile. I have really enjoyed getting to know Katie over the years and hearing her stories. 
She is incredibly talented and very determined. If you get a chance, ask Katie about her MMA fighting. It's kind of fun to hear about all that. Uh, learning about how she pushes herself to be the best can be so inspiring. To put it simply, Katie is awesome. And Katie always has a warm smile in class. She is genuine and willing to help anyone in need. She is dedicated to her future, and I'm sure she'll be a great dietitian one day soon. Congratulations to Katie Denninger. Next is Olivia Fox. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Olivia has also completed the undergraduate certificate in nutrition for human performance. Olivia shared, my favorite part about my four and a half years here at UK has been getting to be a part of the Wildcat family and making Lexington my home away from home. I've loved every friendship, experience, and memory I've made in this city 1,200 miles away from home. Faculty and DHN shared the following words. Olivia has a fun and engaging personality that she couples with high energy and a positive caring spirit. This never seemed to waver throughout the virtual transition, which is most impressive. What did stay consistent is how much of a joy she's been to teach. Olivia always shows up to class bubbly and ready to learn. She helped those around her, which shows her compassion and willingness to help those in need. She was a joy to have in class and she will be a great dietitian. Congratulations, Olivia. Next is Stephanie Crystal. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Stephanie has also completed the undergraduate certificate in food systems and hunger studies. Stephanie shared, my favorite memory while being at UK was touring the Dantry tropical rainforest while abroad in Australia. Faculty and DHN shared the following words about Stephanie. Stephanie has been a joy to have in class. She is curious and eager to learn. She has dug deep and persevered to finish strong. I'm proud of the young lady she has grown into. Stephanie is also a bright and well-rounded student. She has a great understanding of the science and nutrition. She will make a great dietitian. Congratulations, Stephanie Crystal. And next we celebrate Alyssa Kuman. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Alyssa is also a part of our university scholars program and she'll be starting our graduate program next August after she completes her dietetic internship through the UK Dietetic Internship. Alyssa shared, when transferring into UK, I was so nervous that I wouldn't be able to make any friends since I was going straight into the dietetics major, but everyone was so welcoming and I have made the best friends I could have ever asked for. Faculty and DHN shared the following words about Alyssa. Alyssa has been a wonderful student and leader both in and out of the classroom. Her performance in class shows her interest in learning and growing her skills in nutrition. As someone who likes to stay busy, her work ethic outside of the classroom and work and research projects has shown independence and reliability. As well, Alyssa's desire to learn and her consistent hard work clearly set her apart. One of my hopes as a faculty member is that future students work as hard and take their role as seriously within undergraduate work as Alyssa. I have no doubt that Alyssa will excel as a future dietitian. Congratulations to Alyssa Kuman. Next, we have Kylie McPhee. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Kylie is also part of the University Scholars Program and start our master's in nutrition and food systems in January. Kylie shared, my favorite memory has to be the lab for DHN 302. It was so fun to be able to cook so many different things and make new friends. Faculty and DHN shared, Kylie's been great to have in class and her kind demeanor was always appreciated. She's passionate about dietetics and is a wonderful addition to our USP program. I'm looking forward to having Kylie around a little longer. Kylie has a great spirit and lets her light shine wherever she goes. She was always ready to learn and didn't mind participating in class. Kylie will do well in whatever she puts her mind to. Congratulations, Kylie. Our next graduate is Morgan Napier. She's completing the degree requirements for the BS in dietetics. Morgan shared her favorite memory at UK was taking interesting classes and that she really enjoyed, such as advanced nutrition and nutritional biochem. Faculty and DHN shared the following words about Morgan. Morgan is courteous and always treats others with respect. She has always shown an eagerness to learn and shows intellectual curiosity surrounding topics covered in class. She is kind and her calm and supportive demeanor will allow her to help others in the future. 
Morgan is such a wonderful person. I really enjoyed the conversations that I had with her as they always left me thinking more deeply about discussed issues. Her compassion and kindness is going to continue making a difference in the lives of the people she encounters. Congratulations, Morgan Napier. We next celebrate Brandon Pearson for completing the degree requirements for the BS in dietetics. She will be completing her dietetic internship through our department's program starting next month. Brandon shared, I really enjoyed the close knit community of the dietetics program. The final menu challenge in DHN 302 was a really unique and creative opportunity. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Brandon. Brandon's enthusiasm and eagerness to learn are what the future of nutrition and dietetics needs. With the ever-changing landscape of nutrition education, it is imperative that our future nutrition professionals have a desire to learn, an ability to find credible nutrition information, and be able to problem solve like Brandon. I am so excited to see where Brandon lands within the field of nutrition and dietetics. And I'm so grateful and fortunate to have had Brandon helping me with my research. Her intellect is over the top. I would not be as far as I am with my projects if it were not for Brandon. Her creativity and ability to write have been a true gift as she has kept my projects going during COVID. I'm really going to miss working with her. Thank you, Brandon, and congratulations to Brandon Pearson. Next, we have Mally Stewart. And congratulations to Mally for completing the degree requirements for the BS in dietetics. Mally shared that her favorite memory was traveling all over Italy for three weeks with her DHN family and experiencing the Italian table, which I agree is one of my favorite memories too, Mally, together. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Mally. She's passionate about the field of dietetics and has worked so hard to achieve her goals of earning a BS. She's kind and caring and is always willing to volunteer and lend a helping hand to others. Mally's passionate about nutrition, health, and wellness. She interacts well with all that she encounters. She pretty much gets along with everyone. She has great aspirations <coughs> excuse me, for her career and is enthusiastic to learn more about nutrition and dietetics and will do quite well. Congratulations, Mally. Our next graduate is Pamela Thaxton. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Pam is also part of the university scholars program starting our master's program in nutrition and food systems next month. Pam shared, I know one day I will never forget was when we went to Henry Clay High School for DHN 313. In my daily life, I am never around teenagers and these students were so exhilarating, young, motivated and eager to learn. The motto I can leave to anyone watching a virtual commencement is to never stop or it's never too late to learn. If you desire something more out of life and enjoy learning, it is never too late. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Pam. Pam has been a joy to have in class. She is always eager to learn and puts so much effort into her work. Her passion for the field shows and the excitement she shows continues through her journey and it is refreshing. Excited for her potential and the next steps of graduate school. Pam is an outstanding individual. She has a deep sense of, of empathy and understanding for others. She has a great breadth and depth of experiences she willingly shared as, she, as it relates to course content which added so much value to class discussions. Pam has an outstanding work ethic and does what she needs to get the job done. And a job well done. Congratulations, Pamela Thaxton. Congratulations to Erin Wislowski. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Erin has also completed the undergraduate certificate in nutrition for human performance and she will be completing her dietetic internship through our department's program starting next month. Erin shared, my favorite memories at UK were one, dressing up as a mummy by wrapping myself in toilet paper for medical nutrition therapy two class over Halloween, which I saw those pictures and you looked great. Being president of the Student Dietetic and Nutrition Association and talking through one of the clinical simulations with Dr. Barr. Faculty in DHN shared the following words about Erin. Erin was consistently engaged in my class, asking good questions and contributing constructive comments. Both skills are important for a future nutrition professional. Erin has also made those around her feel at ease and is always eager to make the entire class laugh. True. 
I will always appreciate students like Aaron who clearly show their enjoyment for being in a class. And Erin was delight to have in class. She always worked hard and participated. She showed good leadership as the Student Dietetic and Nutrition Association president. Although her term was mostly during the pandemic, she improvised and made virtual meetings and events happen. Erin is a people person and will do very well in life. Best of luck during your internship and all of your future endeavors. Congratulations, Erin Wozlowski. And finally, congratulations to Rutong Zeng. In addition to the BS in dietetics, Ray is also a part of the University Scholars Program, starting our master's program next month. Ray shared, my favorite memories from my time at the University of Kentucky are walking around and getting to enjoy campus, as well as the DHN faculty and staff I've gotten to know throughout my time there. DHN faculty shared the following words about Ray. He's truly an inspiration to those around him with his resilience and positive attitude. He genuinely cares about helping others and demonstrates a commitment to lifelong learning and jumping at opportunities such as education abroad, volunteering with EK Athletics Performance Nutrition Team and undergraduate research. Throughout Ray's entire college career, he's demonstrated continued professionalism with peers and faculty and shown a great deal of independence. He was always willing to do whatever was asked and was eager to participate in all activities with a positive attitude. He's extremely dependable, hardworking and respectful. Congratulations, Ray. And with that, that finishes up our December 2020 graduates. Congratulations to our two graduate st students earning master's degrees in nutrition and food systems and our 16 undergraduate students earning Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. So at this time, what we would like to do is show all of the friends and family members and everybody else, all of your smiling faces. So you all are live now. We are gonna spend a few minutes here so that everybody can find their family member. Uh, those of you who are on Zoom, you're welcome to add comments. Those of you watching this on YouTube, you could put some congratulatory comments in there as well. But let's go ahead and let's just take this time since we can't be in person and celebrate these graduates and their accomplishments, particularly during these challenging COVID times and having to take some of their uh, harder upper level classes, predominantly virtual. You really have been an inspiration to all of us and you have motivated us to do the best job we can and to continue doing that for our future students. So I will stop talking for a moment and let's just look at our graduates and celebrate those graduates. And Tammy, I will say, I saw that we had a baby friend join us. I was gonna we're say, where is the baby friend? I was hoping, uh, we're, Morgan, did she already leave? <laughs> oh, there's the... So we also celebrate Morgan Napier, who in the midst of all of this also welcomed a beautiful baby girl who is smiley and prepared and dressed well for the graduation <laughs> ceremony. Um, several of us are parents, Morgan, so we truly appreciate what you have accomplished and you didn't miss a beat uh, while well, you did that. So congratulations. Thank you for bringing her. Oh, she's so cute. Any other fun visitors, dogs? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Oh, lots of hugs and love. Yes, if you're in person. <laughs> Joe, who are we sitting next to? Is that a brother there maybe? Let's high five. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Well, again, congratulations to all of our December 2020 graduates. We invite you to also join the University of Kentucky commencement ceremony that is obviously virtual and that starts at 2 p.m. this afternoon. And as Dr. Mullins uh, mentioned, we would love to have you be a part of our DHN alumni group. As many of you all mentioned, you've made great friends through this program and we hope that you can continue those friendships and continue to make other acquaintances and meet with other people as well as you move forward. 
The alumni group will have a virtual event in March and you will get information about that virtual event. And again, we would love to have you join. And you will get at least one more email from me with all of the details about how to officially join. There's no cost or anything. That DHN alumni group and the specifics to keep in touch with you. So with that, we thank everybody for participating, friends and family, shout out to all of you and for your contributions to help these graduates to be successful. And we wish everyone health, wellness as we finish out 2020 and we look forward to the future. Thank you from all of us in the Department of Dietetics and Human Nutrition.